Hey everyone, Zev here, and welcome to Broken Edge Overview. Fast Travel Games seems to be that studio that keeps on pumping out games for us on the Quest Store. It's either them or Resolution Games, like they have their own little rivalry going on. The more the better for us, though it's been a lot, that's for sure. <laughs> So Broken Edge seems to be a fantasy dueling game where, among multiple classes available to fight with, you step into 1v1 arena to dominate and slash your way through your opponents using unique mechanics and sword fighting capabilities. This might look familiar because indeed we had a sword fighting game before, Iron Lights, which I believe released around 2 years ago. It was essentially the same setting with just different graphic design and some core features altered but Broken Edge is definitely not the first one to do this genre. Comparing to the previous experience, here I wish for something more dynamic and not limited by a weird slow-mo turn-based combat system. It kinda goes down to personal taste and how you imagine games like that to perform well. I'm more of a dynamic fighter so anything that will like cut me off or introduce some movements that are like limiting, I'm most likely not gonna enjoy and it's hard to tell from the trailer how it's gonna feel like because you need to experience it yourself in the game. The overall project seems relatively well done so there's some hope that it's gonna be better and let's just go challenge someone. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did we have the Nomad character in the trailer? That might be like a sneak peek. <laughs> And they are too empty. <laughs> it's a nice introduction. The plate is formed by the energy of the sword fighter. It can cut through anything. It. I will naturally like try to block and stuff because I was training medieval sword fighting before. The Blazeboro Energy Gorge grants protection. It's very slow. <laughs> you can't kill me as long as there is energy in my gouge. Couch, whatever. So it's like I need to hit his sword or something. Destroy his weaponry, then his ammo. You must probably cut your opponent's blade to gain advantage. Okay, that's interesting. So it's not like we have to focus on him, it's like also the weaponry. When they clash, the blades are both cut at the exact point of impact. And also probably depends on the angle and strength and stuff like that. I like this mechanic more than Ironites for sure. Every time a blade is cut, the blade gauge gradually empties. When empty, yeah, I know. Or maybe I cut, like, handle. Ah. 
Okay, I think I got it now. That's very, like, precision based. <laughs> So definitely this is not about being the fastest, like... I would not think the combat would be resolved that way, but... I do enjoy that way more. The deeper blade cuts will deplete the air. <laughs> so it is kind of turn based, but like it is skill based as well. I wonder if I can hit his arm though. Oh shit! <laughs> I thought it's gonna be more dynamic, but I don't mind that way of doing things at all. He can't defend himself when it's depleted, though. Maybe there is a way, I don't know. Okay. It's gonna be very much different with actual players, like... <laughs> it's gonna be just, I don't know, finicky. <laughs> it's like Blaston on steroids with just the dodging. You can as well like hide your sword behind you, but I wonder if that's like beneficial. Okay, now we choose our class. Oh, so Persian actually is unlocked. Uh, I want. A samurai, clearly, because that's my style. I'm just thinking because Duelist is also dual wielding, but he's more about piercing stuff. I'll get him. All classes have holsters to shift or change weapons. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't like two-handed stuff. Break after being cut, we have two of them. So the secondary is not as strong. <laughs> Awaken? Keep a pause for a short moment, switch, switch, swift, what? <laughs> I'm not sure if I get it. <laughs> An awakened blade will kill an opponent that still has an energy in his gorge. Oh, wow. Ah, so it's like special activation.
I mean... Okay, I think I get it, but not that obvious. So this is like time based. Got it. It's not like, I don't know if it's inconsistent or just me. Maybe Samurai is not for me, I don't know. Okay, we'll see. But also, you can't be too fast because it doesn't pick up not because of the tracking, just because of the game. His movement is weird. Oops. <laughs> I'll will see how it's gonna be in the real match because I feel like in the tutorial it's just forcing me to do stuff that I don't know if I'll be doing. I don't like movements of this dummy though. <laughs> My god. I'm stuck in the tutorial. How? <laughs> He should be dead by now. <laughs> I have a wall there. Can I go? <laughs> okay, let's do fast solo because I feel like the video is already long. <laughs> or whatever with the bot. I don't think I'll be following this awakened stuff though. Maybe depends on the situation, but. Oh shit. <laughs> Maybe duo building is not actually that badass in this game.
Damn it, I need to like put down my weapon. Actually, two handed might not be a bad idea. Okay, let me try the other class honestly. Let me pick Barbarian. It's not my style, but I feel like that's gonna work better. I'm gonna have a long sword, so I need to watch. He's so petite. Wait, what? Shouldn't I be immortal? <laughs> I must be confused. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is not that easy. I mean, dual seems OP. I'm not blaming because I don't care. Piercing, like, has no slashes, so... Let's stop here, but so far I like it way more than the previous game. Think is that it's really dependent on the class you pick because some will be definitely superior over another ones and it's not easy, like it takes an actual skill to be good here. I don't really have many notes, maybe the tutorial should be more precise and just to the point and more dynamic because I felt like I was playing the dojo. 75% of the time, but overall it's pretty fun. I can see myself getting into it. We'll see how it's gonna resolve.